um, to you. Um, I am Dr. Carla Rudolph, and I would be saying, like Dr. Lee, I was introduced to the chocolate, and I was really skeptical at first because I've been in practice for 30 years, and, um, and and I've been half of my practice has always been nutrition, working with reputable companies and knowing, you know, their product line. And when I was first introduced to this product by a patient that came in and said, "I found a chocolate I could eat, Dr. Carla," and I said. Um, I don't think so. I mean, really, my whole job was trying to get people off of chocolate. But what I realized was um, she, and I also do energy testing and muscle testing, and I started working with the chocolate, and it was it was acting different. It was actually just exactly like Dr. Lee said. It, it tested differently. It was just an amazing product, and it got my attention. It made my jaw drop. And when it did that, I wanted to find out why, what more about it. And so then looking at the research on the auric value, of unprocessed chocolate that got my attention because I've been working with antioxidants and looking at the early research on anti-aging and, and antioxidants and when I saw that chocolate had more antioxidants than any food or um, food or vegetable that you can name on the planet it was loaded with them and when I say a, a more not just you know two times more three times more it's like 10 15 20 times more than your tomatoes, than your blueberries, than your raspberries. That got my attention because the story, as Dr. Lee said, is the more antioxidants that we can get into our body, the healthier that we can become and really start to reverse that aging process or inflammatory process that leads to every single degenerative disease you can think of. So, so I knew that I would do a great service to my patients because they were already eating chocolate, you know, and closet eating chocolate, and they can take it out of the closet. And in fact, often my first, in talking with my patients, the first thing I'll think, say to them when they're telling me their symptoms, they're chronically tired, they have poor digestion, they have aches and pains, they, um, they have high cholesterol, high blood pressure, I'll ask them, do you like chocolate? And, and then from there, the story unfolds about the, the story of the healthy chocolate or the real chocolate. Because this is not chocolate, you know, that we usually think about. You know, chocolate has only been a bad guy and one that we wouldn't want to talk about or become a confection sugar in the last 300, 400 years. Before that, it has always been medicinal. And now we brought that chocolate back. And so I think I have gotten into the business of the chocolate, too, because I know that all of my patients have a story to tell and they have their friends and families that they want to share the chocolate with. So they often do want to get on board with me and kind of go out and share that information because they may not live in the same town that they live in, but they have somebody that lives far away, and they can tell them about the chocolate and be safe and start to really let their patients or their, or their family members uh, actually get healthier along the way as they do. So it's been a great, I've been with the chocolate company for about six years. It's been a great love affair. So thank you very much. Thank you.